Back with another public service announcement. Back with another public service announcement. Welcome to it, guys. This is the PSA podcast with Mr. Mayan. We're obviously back here at the studio. Uh, it's still the month of Ramadan, so safe to say I am still like hungry. Nikki's car droog. But I got my brother with another one in the studio. Tashrik, the values. Oh, what to do? So I'm a friend representing ah. the place to be the best. Ah. The best. Ah. <laughs> I'm nah, my brother, it's like a avenue here. Welcome to the podcast. Look at this podcast is normal. This is just you and me prating. But obviously, mm. we're going to have a few thousand people going to be watching. Oh, yeah. A few million dollars in summer. That's how stuff you say. Just don't yeah. say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to start. Sure. Okay, first, I mean, I know who you are. I mean, you're an artist. Uh, I mean, you've been you've been in plays. You've been in the Baxter uh, clubs. You, you were minstrel. I mean, just a bit of an Alice. So, you uh, say. so Alice. I mean, just, we're just going to briefly let you tell them a small little about that. Mm. Did you know how long history? What is Tashrik busy with that now, and what does he do? Okay, at this moment in time, Tashrik is busy with Ramadan. <laughs> so what's by the Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik That's what Tashrik is busy with now. You see, so this is my spiritual connection to my Creator for all the blessings and the love that He's given me through the people. The huh? people on the streets, as we know, we are in Woodstock yes, right now. Yes, yes. So, yes. The so we in the we in the hub of the front. Ah. You know, this is where it's all started. Listen, talking about that now, you know what? So uh, for, for many years, obviously, these people who have never been here uh, mm. to Woodstock, or they've passed through and they've heard most like more of your music. Yeah, it's front lines. I'm a front. I'm sure, a front. I'm sure. a front. Explain to people a little bit of the history, man. Like of vacuum item front line of I'm a front fan because the thing is. I think I've explained to them people as sure. best I can, but sure. I want you to give them your 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 explanation. Yes, I also think that people there's a misconception. Misconception. I yes. Think. First and foremost, let me start with this. This is the sign, uh, yeah, that I've that I've put on front line. If you turn it upside down, it's obviously if. Yes. You know, and it's uh, with the sign for me. It says like Mama Lodi sundowns his badge. Yes. Sky is the limit. The sky is the limit. Yes. Sky is the limit. We come from nothing and we're going to something. We're going all the way to the top. Yes. So frontline in the dictionary, if you look at the word frontline, it actually says the most furthest forward position. Yes. So also is normal Ian. Normal Ian. The stand side. If you want to go to the CBD, whether you're from Mitchell's Plain, Telf, and Over Park, Mendelburg, wherever you're from, Atlantis, if you want to go to Cape Town, where must you pass? You front must line. pass the front line. You must pass Woodstock. Yes. Within the main roads, the freeway, the highway, the train, the bus, everything come to. pass Woodstock. Yeah. And this is also where, this was the first location from District 6. Okay, move him into Woodstock to what's the place? Yeah, the terrace and so. Yes, but what's the place? Yes. Exactly. You know what I mean? This is where the things begin. Yes. For us, for us, colored men, sir. You know? No, and this is the, I actually had this conversation and I was telling yeah. about it. I mean, if you look at what's happening on the Cape Plains today, when it, come, when it comes to, uh, uh, Let's say we don't even gonna go into all of the stuff, but all the like I mean, this yeah, yeah. happened on the Cape Flats, so to sure. speak. This would probably be the first place where it started, other than District Six, obviously, which was removed, where it was still happening. So and spread from here, from yes, here, correct. The front line, I think, this would be the first yeah. point of yeah. This is base. So I'm a little, I'm a little cousin of uncle of auntie in Woodstock. But, but, yeah, say muna auntie of uncle of it's muna zayet in Woodstock. Hello, Bruce, sister, 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 <laughs> so basically it's for me it's a lifestyle yes. if, if you say the furthest forward position mm. it means I play no more in for stand so for me I adapted in this way when I say I'm a friend mm. that's a lifestyle yes that's how you walk how you talk how, you how your talk, style how you is yes. how you communicate with people how you dress yourself mm. the way you eat what you eat when you eat how you walk it's how you talk no, everything what you do do your best now so I if you're a painter, you must be the best painter. Yes. If you're a soccer player, you must you be, be the, the best, best soccer, soccer player. player. That's the lifestyle of I'm a friend. Now that is now, I was, I've been trying to explain this to people because obviously they have blurred lines as to how they see. Yeah. Because uh, I mean, I think there was a, post, a photo of you and me that someone still shared. It says, uh, we're promoting gangsterism. No, man. We but paused said, that already. I think we're standing like that in the front yeah. and say, oh, so I'll promote gangsterism. I said, listen here. So Mama Lodi Sundowns promote gangsterism. gangsterism. But at the end of the day, if we want to turn something negative into and something positive, positive Yes. They, they have to obviously that because the thing is if 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 gangsterism or something like that or negativity was something we're pushing for, people are actually known that that would have been what exactly for. exactly. But I'm say, oh, can I number ah. one you? I get the words. Did we like you? this mouth for you? I like this love for you? Yeah. If that was the case, then I wouldn't have the love of the people. We wouldn't have the love of the people. Because they know what you stand for. Yeah. 
Now that is the most important thing. So now I'm a front here, you are my bro. And now obviously I know a big thing. You are almost in Qatar. What a Qatar. <laughs> Who was Qatar? <laughs> what a Qatar. What did you do in Shulman? Okay, in Qatar, I was an entertainment manager for a place, a five-star hotel <laughs> called Agora. Yeah. So I was in charge of um, doing the entertainment things, also entertaining myself yes. because I'm an artist, you know. And my wife was also with me. She was a head hostess in a different hotel, the yes. Royal Meridian. So we had a blast there. Um, it was amazing. Looking to return soon, mm -hmm. inshallah. I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, it, I mean, it was an amazing experience for people that have never been there. I mean, like, what is like, if like, like you like take us on a journey, but like, like what's all those scenes? Like, okay, when I got off the plane, the first thing, usually uh, when I got off the plane, yeah. I was very warm, bro. <laughs> I was sweating, bro. I left Cape Town with a night track shirt on. Uh -huh. Yo, I was spiked with thick Jordans I had on. And you got I came outside, you know that um, that Middle East you, humidity. Yes. You know, you're going to experience it really soon, but it's like that humidity <laughs> in the air, bro. It's like choking you. But uh -huh. but other than that, when you went... Is that something you get you used get to? You get used to. Yes, definitely you get uh -huh. used to it. And you wear most not only salato, or okay. But when you're working now, it's, you know, and everything has aircon. The streets has aircon, the buses have aircon, the train uh -huh. have aircon. And just to be there and witness how people live, what the economy is like, mm. what their lifestyles are like. Everyone wants to help each other. That's why. That was the... That was the main thing for me. Mm. Everyone wants to help each other. Me and my wife's walking to mosque. It's super hot. The stops are like, uh, what is this? This G wagons. G wagons, yeah. Speak Sheikh driving this thing. G. Probably. Yo, you told, I think you told me the story. No? You know? Yeah. And he's tell, like, tell us, tell us, tell us, tell us. yeah. He's like, um, uh, come, yalla, Habibi, get inside. I take you to mosque. I say no, it's fine, Habibi. I'm get more reward when I walk to mosque. Yeah. yeah. Ah, okay, shukran. Close the door. It drives. But look at the. He's driving a G wagon. G wagon. Someone yeah. in 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 it's a light no, shop. Then, that's my car. That's my car. He doesn't even look at the light. You know what I'm yes. saying? Yeah, in Cape Town. But they they're like normal. Once that dude got out of his car, a three wheeler. Yeah. You saw that post of mine, a mm. three wheeler car. The dude got out. He's like, yeah, 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 baby, drive, drive. I'm like, look at this people. And said Africa really you car weg. You and know? that's just so to show the people's trust that And it's so people. safe. It's and so now safe. And how connected they are with about those material things that doesn't yes. make them. You know why? You know why they're like that, Yusrik? Because they fear God. They fear God. They yeah. don't fear the police or this or this. They fear God. Yeah. And they know that whatever they do, they're going to be accountable by God. The dude gets out of his car, leaves his car on, goes into pick and pay. Car's idling, bro. No um, Mercy Lago. Idling. He go in pick and pay, he and, come out. And obviously you thinking, imagine this. I'm thinking, that's Dino Bede. He said, I'm back when I die. But I'm, I'm saying, that would, yeah. it would definitely be gone. Yes. But they, they don't care because they know Allah is watching them, you know. The God, yeah, Allah, yeah. the Creator is watching them. That's why they, every, this, yeah. it's so clean, it's so safe. Mm. Your wife is safe, your phone is safe. Yes. So I can look at it and use it. And I left my, I tested it. Yeah. I, I left my phone in a, in a mall. And I went to the toilet with all my all my um, shopping. Went to the toilet, came back. Phone was still there, and I left a video on the record. Okay. Phone was laying there, bro. Imagine people like in oh, Cape Town. You do I this. Phone, suma. Oh, <laughs> I phone us back. Oh, we're gonna get suma. Let me see. No, I don't want this phone. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that that's, no, that's my point. Amazing. So listen, I mean, if you had the opportunity, I mean, right now, any time to go back, you would. Well, why immediately? Immediately. Yeah. Um, and obviously, I know you've you've loved. I mean, you love Cape Town. We're from Cape Town. I mean, we've been here. Yeah. Um, and I know also before you go. I mean, obviously not just to look like open up old wounds, but obviously we've we've had our fair share of I mean, so long the way people that you know still to, in your to this day, bro. And look, this is what I've already, I've, I've, I've like I told him in many other shows. This is like part of it now, man. You as like you you can't fight something that's gonna exist because I mean even our deep is about the evil eye. Yes. Uh, and that it does exist and uh, you know, people have ill and stuff like. And you must be careful for it. No, you have to. And but what I'm saying is us trying to say that if we leave, you know, it's not gonna exist. It exists, maybe. It exists, bro. It doesn't matter what you're gonna do. It exists. Yeah. But now you love you. You still obviously love your country. Yeah. You love your city. Remember, you love your your community. That's why I came back. Also, I missed it. You, you know, missed it. Now, I wanna know, like, with all of that happening, man, like, would you, if you had the chance to leave and never come back, would you? Wow. Never come back. Yeah, never come back. Like, I, like I mean, and I visit, mean, can I visit. Mean, I mean, visit. Uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, um, I like, can even say, I'm just a great guy. He's but I mean, he's a play of. Ik denk ik zal nog wel gaan, nu zit ik man. Ja. Ik zal gaan wonen naar een land, verstaan ze, maar ik zal gereeld mijn visits doen hier in zo, man. Maar ik zal hier niet wegblijven, compleet niet. Wat ik ook discover is, when I was gone, everyone was like, yo, we must for you, we must you. Yeah. On TikTok, Instagram, wherever. We mm. must you, it's not the same without you. And so, mm. you come back, and uh, you feel that love, you know. 
And that's something unique because obviously in Qatar, nobody knew me. Nobody knew you. I had to now show them what I, I can do. Of you enjoy that when they didn't know you. Yes, because <laughs> like I can walk free and I can. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would like, you yeah. This is so liquor now. But you know what we do, usually now? You know what the plan is now? We go over there now and we learn like people's cultures, mm-hmm. their ways. We come back here and we try to share it with our people yeah. so that our people can also get that enhancement and leave this negative stuff behind, you know? Yeah. And go forward like, like Vince. Wens, wens goedigheid vir my kaam. 100% ja. Van ek wens, ek weet sy wens vir my wat, wat, wat sy wens vir jou self. Yes. Verstaan sy? So if everyone can adopt the mentality of wish for your brother what you wish for yourself, yourself. what can we possibly be as a nation? Yo, we can achieve. Ah, we can go. Uh, I think that mentality, maybe, maybe we're not in the right circles all the time, so we don't, we don't see that all the time. Yeah. But I think I'm really, if, if anything, I'm happy that we're Muslim. Oh, that alhamdulillah, make that makes sense. Especially when you come in a country that is a Muslim country. Yeah. You'll see really soon. You know yeah, what I'm talking about. Yeah. But you come in a Muslim country, you see all the principles of Islam being lived. Yeah. You don't just hear it. Oh, I'm a neep. Oh, I'm a But as the adhan banga, sit star and I'm a neep. Nee. If the adhan goes off, wallahi, close the laptop, run to mosque. Yes. Everyone. I send to you. Everyone. Even your work. Setting a meeting. Look at the time. Well, my phone makes adhan. Hey, it's time for prayer. Excuse me, the pastor can he sit, man. Yes. And as men from other lands, UK, Ireland, there's people from everywhere. They must wait. They it's must wait. wait and they can't tell you anything. Yes. Each contract has it stipulated. Pray time, pray time. Pray time. Even if you take 30 minutes for Asr, 40 minutes. As you do. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. I feel like we should be living like this for ages. I wish we could have loved. But uh, you see Islam alive, man. Yes. That's what, and it made me feel at home. Yeah. You see, I didn't feel like a foreigner because why? I'm Muslim. Yes. You see, you will see the difference. And it's, 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 it's weird, no? But yeah. you'll see a difference like, Hi, Habibi, what's your name? Hi, my name is Michael. Hi, Michael. Habibi, what is your name? Ah, my name is Tashriq. Ah, you are Muslim. Naam. Habibi. Habibi. Yes. You feel the difference, man. Like, but that's, yeah. that is how, that is, I mean, it's that amazing. Is, that's religion, There's no, no prejudice to the different. No, you, 100%. You can practice your religion. Everyone's religion is, is free. But yeah. when you're Muslim in a Muslim country, country. ah, it's the best. It's something else. You feel like, Pohasa come no come on. I'm waiting for the next one. Because you ready here with everyone. Yes. No, that's quiet, man. You come in mosque, you, mm. you come with now with your style. They must win now their style, you know, they took mm. and they, that thing on the head and all the stuff. I come in my local kurta, I come in a little plat coffee, I dip in my cup. Sag. Sag. Now, you can say, here's my main part. Here's my main mijn Here's my main part. Here's my main part. Here's my main part. Here's my main part. Here's my There's no rakies in that inside the okay. mosque. Everyone shows is outside. Here are a few Louis Vuittons. There are a few Gucci's. There are a few Saatchi slippers. I say, look here. It's a meat and he... As the cap, as the Avianas. He more of the Avianas. Yo, Avianas. I promise you, Avianas fly in Cape Town. Yes. They're the people who kick off their Versace's. But then also, like, that's what you said, man, that's because it's a they fear God. They fear God. So it's like, hey, but I will leave my stuff. If you steal it, you can go for it. Yeah. Because you could steal it. Yeah. Just remember, they, they know God is watching. Yes. I and love did you see what happened recently now in Qatar? I don't want to focus on the negative, but yeah. it's also positive in what it. What happened? There was somebody from Spain or a report of something, mm-hmm. but he's like a young vlogger man or something, okay. you know? Then a group of, like, young Qataris, they, like, attacked him or whatever. They, okay. You know what the government did to them? What? They're young, they're like 14, 14 13. 15. Arrested them. Prison. How long, man? Eh? Well, they, they're going on trial, on now. trial now. Yeah, yeah they're on trial now. But they're like 13, 14. There's no leniency. If you're wrong, Bad wrong. is bad, right? Is right. right. Good is good. Good is good. Wrong is wrong. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So it doesn't matter if you're 12, 13, 14. You will face the same. Because the Quran is the legislation. Yes. God says you can't eat a man, even if he's Christian Jew, don't eat him. That's not okay. Him. Just went don't hurt anybody, is what our religion says. Yes. So even if you're 12, your dad is a big sheikh that lives in a, in a million. You've done million you've done and you're wrong. You've done wrong. And you must feel. Yes. yes. They're 13 standing in Buyas. Also 13 in Khoelan, Boys Town of Sioux. Mm. Verstaan ze? They standing in the And obviously in our country it was things like it to be like, yes, this is child abuse. This uh, is not right. But again, we also must understand obviously we live in a some westernized we live in a westernized country. I mean we are a third world country, but Western cultures obviously bombarded us as so how sure. we believe and how things must go. So yes. I mean this is like you said a Muslim country, so you got to cry many ah, crazy. I just steal. Mm-hmm. And now, okay, that's the one, next one. So now, obviously, it's Ramadan. You said this is so people yeah. will obviously watch this episode. Uh, I'm not sure we're gonna watch it during Ramadan or after Ramadan. We'll see. Uh, but Both. 
So now, obviously, you do music. And music has been one of the biggest things that you've done now yes. recently. Because yes. I mean, obviously, I know like theater performance, Cap de Fleur, uh, You are, I mean, you're on stage. You did all those amazing things. But I know music was like the big center point of this last year. Yes. Um, and I believe both of your songs hit almost a million, over a million. On over YouTube. a million. Get it right, nice. Mr. Maya. Thank you. Uh, nice. Relax. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was gonna say five million, ten million, ten million. Now you, now you'll be like, but anyways, so just quite. Well, never, uh, your songs went viral on TikTok. Everybody watched it. Uh, Praise God. You, you, you performed it. All the shows. Now it's Ramadan, right? So now, for people who don't understand, there's no, especially for us being Muslim and still being in the industry. How is that for you when it comes to this time of year? You know, you did say what part of the the, but I mean, balancing those two. How's that been for you? Okay, so so first of all, music is my income. Performing is yes. my income. I don't have a wage or a salary that anyone pays me every month. Yes. So technically, I'm unemployed. Yes. Technically. Technically, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. because you don't have that steady salary like Your everybody else. Yeah. Not paying you over the month. Right. Salary, yeah. So in the month of Ramadan, I decide I can go on because it's my work, but I decide not to. Yes. Because I feel it might interfere with me, it might distract me from my spirituality. 100%. And I have so many things to be grateful for. You know, me and you speak a lot about all this, about this time, you know. Yeah. So um, I have a lot to be thankful for. The least I can do is remove myself from the industry for one month, mm. just for this month. And thank my God for all the blessings that He's given me. As you mentioned, the million views, all of that, all of that, all of that. Mm. All of that doesn't matter if the people can't relate to you. You know, so with a million views, that's a million people sharing love. Sharing love, yeah. Because yeah, the some haters also gonna look to see oh, it's a it's a junk tick yarn of or whatever. Yeah, but he's contributing to the million, to the million views. Yeah. You know, so in this time, I say shukran to Allah for all the blessing that He's given me in my life and mm -hmm. the talents and with it um, comes everything that comes with it. You know, yeah. from my as in my No, That's why I say respect and love, mm -hmm. but. Um, I, I cut myself off so for me there's no income this month no income this month, yeah. zero but there's still expenses yes you know so there's zero income there's still expenses but that doesn't matter because my spirituality counts more than that if you know what I mean yes so if I'm able to make somebody smile for free that's better than someone paying me a thousand rand to do the same thing. Do, the same, yeah. do you know what I mean? 100%. So this is my time of spirituality. I know for you it's the same. No, and I know, you know? that's why we had this conversation. Yeah. And sometimes it can obviously be tough, maybe, because yeah. the thing is, um, you have to go out on a limb and be like, you know what, this is my faith. That's what I believe in. And yeah. you're thankful to God for everything that he's obviously given you. Sure. And to make the sacrifice, it's huge. I mean, but I don't know, I feel like somehow, you know, which is what happened, Oshallah Kodiya. Oshallah Kodiya, my bro. But is that you might feel like you're struggling right now, going through whatever, you know what? Yeah. I feel like if you are faithful and you do what you're supposed to do, somehow or another. He's going to pull you through. He's going to pull you through. Definitely. And like that's, that's, that's the point thing about faith, man. And you always remind me of that also, you yeah. now. You're one of the friends that always remind me. Like I know there's, there's sometimes maybe I'm not as active on Islam as you. Yeah. Yes, it's in my mind. If I love Allah, whatever. But when I wake up in the morning, say I didn't wake up for Fajr. Yeah. I didn't wake up for Fajr. I go on my phone. Yusrik Maya status. First thing, Fajr Salah. Then I go to the, oh, how Maya? Nah, Maya Salah is Paran. <laughs> then I'm inspired. inspired yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's why you post that status like, to I'm inspire all, somebody. To more of my people. And you, you know, know what? You're not the first because so many of the. But then again, I also can feel like we all maybe just vessels of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are. So if it is, maybe that was, that was something that was put in my order, Mr. Maya. Skrak Vaka, Mark Fajr. Yeah. Like not like in that way, but for like no, but the, you, so like that like you said you can look at it like yo, my skin more I think bitter try me. Sure. You know what I mean? And for me, yeah. was, there are days that maybe I recall a few days that I maybe didn't maybe but I must it or did it a little bit later. Yeah. So someone then I actually got three messages, five messages. Baba turn focus. Hello. Hello. Turn loud, go slow. But then our religion also teaches that you know, reminders are good for believers. Believer, yeah. So I think we must always remind each other. And also, like this is also something I want to say. Besides that, is like obviously we talk about you talk about hak, we talk about religion. We obviously because we 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 sit with the Quran, we go to sure. to, to 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 all these places and we learn about the stuff. But what we need to tell people is that when I say anything or post anything, I must remind people that I'm reminding myself first. Sure. My mouth is closest to my, my ears. ears. Sure. So who am I speaking to? First yourself. First myself before Correct. anyone. And, and that is why uh, we always put it out there to say, you know what? These reminders of us first. So when I look at means music, music, I know if I'm small now, you've, no, you've, no, become, no. A, you've become a good guy actually. <laughs> I know you were just you, you, you've, now you've grown, eh? <laughs> Not only in size, but you've grown. Alhamdulillah. 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 Not Shukar Allah. Okay. So now, um, so yeah, so that's one thing. Listen now, this, this story actually happened. This, this, this is story. I want to know what's your take on this, no? Okay. 
the Muslim football players in the French national team okay. were asked to postpone sport fasting for the month of Ramadan. <laughs> So that's to do all. Allah, Allah, pass. Then I can say, "Which is what? I'm not Muslim. I'm not Allah. I'm not Allah. Pass now." You have a parallel answer. No, but let's try to be. Let's try to be. Wow, what say? I'm very French. I'm very French. President of the ever came. I'm going to post it up. And then France, why? It's all the same. No way. That's the most fun. No, they will never. Ah, dito comment. But what did they say? Oh, so let's go as be as be a bit longer than the creator. But I mean, I I I I get it. I get it from both sides. Yeah. Number one, if you okay. want to believe in people, you have a whole different perception of the world and what you think yes. priorities are. And yes. Yes. Same like if if we believe only in the world and only material, don't start to go wake up the old boy. Oh, Ramadan. I say wake. I lose say that. Yeah. But always first time of God, the concept of rising and what? Come at come if I wake up, what you doing? Yes, it comes from Allah. So no. But well, listen, listen, yeah, you, you the guys, leave the soccer play, man. Leave the soccer. I know you support these, these professors. But what was the comments? What, what did some players I comment like? What did they say? The, Duke, they actually didn't put out what the what the footballers themselves said. Okay, but uh, but I have seen some footballers actually like taking time out and you know um, yes. to practice fast whilst playing. And um, I saw um, I could have seen Ian goalkeeper. It's it's my injury he fake. He faked the injury so that um, uh-huh. Amrabat could break his fast. The player from Morocco. Yeah. So wherever Amrabat's playing now, his goalkeeper was like, ah, injured, injured. Kind it was just to let Amrabat get a minute to drink some water. Drink some water. You know, so there is still some players that's playing whilst fasting and they take a moment just to break the fast and they play on. I wish I could find this thing, but you it's somewhere, it's somewhere on here. Yeah, but, I mean, but they say obviously we don't agree with it. Yeah, so they didn't say they didn't say anything uh, per se. But again, also again, we must also understand again for us, like it's also it's the, some people who go work at different places. Mm. Yeah, they don't get at one o'clock. They can't just leave. Yeah, well, it's lunchtime. But or or us and stuff like because again, we don't live in a Muslim, Muslim country. country, correct? You know, so I mean, and Allah tells us in the Quran, we must abide the rules of the country that we stay that in. We stay in. Yes, I remember I played on Timur once in yes. in the Ramadan, mm. and I played it. Yeah. I was singing, I was doing everything, but I was fasting. Mm-hmm. You know, like on a Saturday, we have two shows, one in the afternoon, one in the evening. Mm-hmm. I fast in the first show, the second show is after iftar, so I'm I'm like a recharge. Yeah, so you're recharging. But our energy is weird. Like our energy is still like top tier, yeah. Top tier. Mm-hmm. Yesterday I was walking with my mom to Shell Garage yes. in, in Salt River. Yeah. Die bug come for by me. I jog bug. I took it by an ice like a tight see what I jog. I see bug as poor as I got um cap. I said no. Spirit is on the next level, bro. I was inspired. No, but I see them, and then some. I, a friend of mine just said, "Yo, the man says, 'Mau me, bro.' Bagalo bigger ni druhi kar do." I said, "Yes, but I say, but but now to say, man, but I'm like, no, as mine never met them, as mine never met them, as you iman up on levels." Yeah. Mag is a ek si ek vid my mal diari dax sa jiu. But yes, now that the day when we were all day together, na? yeah, yo, we had a blast. But um, our energy was still like high, yeah. high energy. Yeah, the moon is drug. You lust for certain things, mm. but it's more than just the food and the drink, man. That is why. That's, that's what I want to yeah. get into because now lots of people I speak to on a daily basis they say, "Yo, Mister Maya, so, so again that is it Ramadan? Uh, oh, again, no food, no food and water for the day. Yeah, How yeah. Can you survive because you obviously get this question of the maybe yes. we survived, Jay. Uh. But. I mean, I could explain it. I mean, we have books to explain, but I. But for you, I mean, what what is the whole thing in capital? I mean, what is this all about? Okay, so Allah says in the Quran, "Audhu billahi min shaitanir rajeem." Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ya ayyuh al-ladina amanu, kutiba alaykum al-siyam, kama kutiba ala al-ladina min qablikum, la alakum tatkoon. Oh, you who believe, verily fasting was prescribed unto you, as it was prescribed unto those before you. So Allah answers the question, why? So we ask, why? Then Allah says, so that you may attain piety, so that you may yeah. become pious. Yeah, Allah knows that throughout the year for 12 or 11 months, we may be not as pious, but Allah just brings you back to a reminder. What is all about? What is all about? These rules are in like munas, yes. and these are capable as fun. Mm. Because on a normal day, we want to eat Nando's for lunch, we want mm. to eat McDonald's for supper, we spend klom gyal op all the difference with the kosa, maar kijk in die poasa, we can leave everything. Mm. And we eat in the morning, before sunrise and we eat at sunset but besides that what does allah say so that you may attain piety piety is not achieved in eating or drinking yes it's achieved in not lying mm-hmm. not doing wrong to people so i always say the fasting of the eyes Fast of the eyes firstly yes so you mustn't look what you mustn't look at yes. so if you watch porn in puasa your puasa is broken yes. you might as well eat mm-hmm. you know so and fasting of the ears if if i'm by mr maya and i'm scannering with mr maya of jack 
Yo, check is a water, bra. Yo. You might as well eat again. You might as well eat. Because you have to fast from the yeah, ill speech. Because, yeah, the ears must also fast from ill speech. And you must be able to tell me, Ricky, you know what? Lost the parata, man. I'm going to So it's the, it's the eyes, the ears, the mouth. You mustn't speak what you mustn't speak. So you mustn't be foul. You mustn't swear. You mustn't tell lies. You mustn't hurt people with your tongue. This is part of the fasting. Fasting of the hands. Do not fight. Yeah. Do not hurt people. Do not steal. So you see, fasting of the hands, fasting of the feet. Do not go places where you shouldn't go. Places that's haram. Don't go to the kren. Don't go to the tovel plekka. Don't go to the tovel plekka. Don't go to the tovel plekka. This must be a plekka that we are around. Because as an artist, I, maybe I have a show at an over street. And you have to be in this place. You know? Yeah, but, but now in Ramadan, if you go there, it's, a, it's hopeless you staying away from food and drink. Because was, yeah. it's, 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 it's gone. So the food and drink is the last it's on the, the agenda. It's the smallest. Yeah. You know? And the reason for that is to remind you that there's people out there who don't have food, man. Yes. To feel what the what the less fortunate feels, you know. And in this month, we become more charitable. Because you know? we know exactly what it is. Exactly, yeah. It's like to not have food. Yes, to tomorrow, I've been invited by you to yes. be more charitable tomorrow. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So Allah has, Allah has put it in your heart to give that charity tomorrow. And has put it in you invited me so Allah selected me to go with you mm. tomorrow we are again charitable now we feel really when we feed that people how do they feel when they receive when it they, receive it. they are so grateful for it you know and moment, we take advantage we can feel, I mean we get to understand a little bit more as to why yeah because you know last half year for Man, yeah, kijk eens aan Brian Bakker. I mean, you can go through a whole day. You can really go through a whole day and be all right. You have small moments. I'm telling you, that last 30 minutes feel like the whole day. It's like, no, it's dogs. No, it's like, no, it's like, you do feel that. I man. think that's also like a mental thing, man. Yeah. Van ze weet was nou die tijd kom ons nou naar hem, man. Nou kijk zij tafel so aan. Nom, 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 nom. Hahaha. <laughs> I don't want to make this whole thing about yeah. fasting in Ramadan, but I mean, just, I see myself, it's like two, three, 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 if I, if I can say so, that actually like active on our dean, you know? Yes. Like, I know a lot of people, I don't know how mention it because then my voice is broken. Yes. But <laughs> that's why your heart is, that's <laughs> nonchalant about it, you know? I don't want to say the but yeah, yeah. the love of money is the root of evil. But um, how I've been eating, I don't know, how it's going to be. Taro, water. I've learned also. Don't eat the paiti, don't eat the samosa, because then you're not going to eat the you're plate of food. Eat the food, yeah. You like eat so little, it's scary, and I'm losing weight, you know. And that's what we're telling the people during the month of Ramadan. So eat man. You eat, you, you, you eat, because you're stuck. Eat, so eat man. Your makhra cleans, eat man. Because we started the conversation, I'm going to eat a quart, but I'm going to eat a quart, man. Nah, I say, I say, man. Yo, Rick, I'm going to eat all the good things, but I can't eat the good things. I'm going to eat all the good things. Nah, yo, nah, that's a junk one, really. Oh, that like is a junk one. About the food, but we just keep it on the surface level. So it's smart, so, man. You know what the people don't understand? We fasting like we doing this interview. We currently fasting, guys. Just my lips are stuck, my mouth is stuck. Okay, but anyway, moving along, moving yeah, along. Yeah. So I mean, now I mean with Ricky, um, obviously with you doing the music and stuff. I mean, where do you where, where do you see this all going for you, man? Or like what where, what would you like to honestly achieve? This is I mean this is just something I thought yeah. at the top. Like with everything that we've been through, man. Like ultimately, like where where would you like to see yourself? Um, Not even with music, just in general. Okay. So, um, with me making the music first and foremost, yes. I wish to inspire the youth and our fellow colored people mm. that you can become something, you know? Mm. And whether, and you must always do your best, like the Amma Front Lifestyle says, always do your best, whatever you are. Mm. My inspiration to you doesn't mean that you must also become a rapper. Yes. It can just mean that you need to put effort in, you push in whatever you do, mm. right? So, that's, that's one. That's with my music and my message to our colored people. Then it also goes, my dream for myself is mm -hmm. to one day be able to provide our Cape Flats areas or our non-privileged areas mm -hmm. with schools of art where this talents that me and you share yeah. can be developed. Full because, chances, yeah. you know, because we don't have that. Mm. Like when I won the Fleder, when I was nominated for the Fleder Cup, maybe I'll get the Fleder Cup again. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. So when I got the nomination, everyone was like, where did you study acting? Where did you study singing? 
I'm like, dude, I didn't study ni. I didn't study a day. And there's many other kids out there like us who have talent, who have raw talent mm. but they don't have a platform where For it can them, be yeah. seen. So if we give them a school and and the leadership yeah. and teach them how to do this thing properly, we can show the world how talented Cape Town people people actually are. Mm. Especially our kids, whether it's football, whether it's arts, dancing, singing, drama. Was it funny? Best of men, sir. And I want to expose our people. I want to put them out there. You see the platform. Do you know thing? Where's what they can make? Yeah. Verstand it. That is that is my that is my main mission. So I know if I have a school in Lavendale, I have a school in the plain, I have a school. Ah, my my yeah. dream is fulfilled. And, but I, and I mean, obviously, with stuff like this, is, you know what? I, mean, I just keep pondering uh, when, when I when I when I think of it, because I mean, I've had these thoughts before, even about you know giving people all these platforms. Yeah, it's like what we also I think us as as individuals that are in the in the, in the industry is really is to kind of inspire other people to be also consistent and serious about their craft. You know, yes, because it's easy for someone again, like because I feel like there's so many people. Maybe you're watching this, so he's talented, but he's lay. Just lay, yeah. Or or maybe you're talented, but one day you lose and then the next next day, day you don't lose so how important for you is to because there's a lot of people again very smart very talented but are you willing to go the extra mile yeah, you, know yeah. What I mean? you have to be so like how do you, how do you teach people no. things consistency and like and drive oh shit that i just moved yeah. i mean how do you teach that to yeah. another person they can be talented but as really i drive it then it's a talent next yeah so they can talent it but as an ad week it and put a little talent next yeah so what 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 we are saying to you mm. whoever's watching this with your amazing talents that you possess if you have the talent it's gonna mean nothing if you don't make effort you must you must every day do mm. something on that craft so that it can grow mm. first if you plant a seed today you water it today. You give it its nutrients it's today. Cool. Right tomorrow, you do the same thing. Friday, you don't do it. Saturday morning, I say, then do it. Yes. I plant is a blare, but can't so can. Verstand say. That is. Who can do so? Verstand say. That is why then can can. So we have practical example of the creation of Allah because Allah say everything that I have created serves a purpose to to the mankind. Verstand say. So in the example. The biblical example where the one brother killed the other brother, Abel and Cain, yeah, Abel and Kabil. The one killed the other one. He didn't know what to do with the body. Where did he get the lesson from? From a bird. From a bird. He was walking with that corpse. The corpse was starting to stink. He was thinking, "What must I do with this body?" Yeah. And then he saw a bird. Subhanallah. Mm. A bird digging a hole with his beak, rolling the, the dead bird in it and closing it. Yeah. That's where he got the lesson from. The, hence, I'm making the example of the flower. If you don't give it its sunlight, its nutrients, it's gonna die. Mm. So same with you. You have Your a talents, yeah. you have a beautiful rose that can come out of you, but as the form, the tijd gaat gee om recht te raken, dan gaat het verkeerd blij. Hundred percent. Yeah, that's where we are. No, so that's where we are. I mean, that is why it's so important that's to, where we are. to tell people this. I mean, especially with where the world is going right now. And also, I just feel like everything's so expensive, my bro. Yo. I'll you know, deter and I'll deter. I want to have this. I want to. I want to really have this conversation with Cape Town people. Listen, whether you're making money or not making money, this is for everyone. Remember, stuff is expensive, guys. It's like, it's not even a joke. Um, I even had a conversation with my with my mom and my daddy. And I'm like, oh, let's say, uh, you know, what, as, as I was going to say, we just made that. Can I get a one? Can I get a? I mean, a one that I can get. Can I get three ice? Look, but as I'm beginning, I'm not racking. Three ice, three ice, five buckies. I don't want to run it, I can go three buckies and five buckies. I said, my bro, for that is a one to run, I'm just sitting around. Voila. I'm just, and, and the, the thing is, this is, this is our economy and I'm talking about right now. Um, you know, a thousand rand. Because I was telling people, that's like, no, you know, when you do shows, it's like, rand. yeah, I sell for you, maybe a thousand rand here, but two years, but I don't know if you have petrol to come here. Why is it petrol to come? And I'm people like, yo, what, the man, I charge you over 15 days in. I said, listen, yeah, if I should give you, no, a low down, a 2,000 rand, as an example, mm. I give you a 2,000 rand, what can you really do with a 2,000 rand today? <sighs> like, if you look like, if you, like, considering now life is, okay, for one day, that's your petrol, yes. that's your inches, that's your meal, that's now your tiny phone, you, yeah, I can, I can make a but that's her meal also. Where is it? Man, it's done. Where is it? You can say Kimbis. Let it Kimbis. Say baby puya and say Uli. Klaar is it? That man is done. That man is done. School fees, school fees when he can say so dear to it isn't. I fly. So yeah, that that is where we are today. I imagine living in this country and then yo, and this is how people have to struggle, my bro. But I mean, for 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 the bare minimum, and I know I I can mention what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the millionaires. These millionaires are rich, and I say, my yo. 
Also hectic. Because remember, if these if the basic necessities are not expensive, and the goods are dear, the people buying houses, repayments on your house is expensive. Mm. Rates. Or any front line, what is the front line rates? Zij is maar maar die toe. Als vraagplein er iets zoeken. Dat zijn ze. Hulle zoek reg voor. Hulle zoek reg voor. Ja. That's also a misconception that people have. They think like, okay, I speak for myself. Now I'm going to speak about you. Ja. No, but I'm going to speak for myself. It's a misconception that people have. Oh, hij is een aardes, hij is die, hij is een rijk. Ja. Hij het baie geniaal. Nou, hij speak voor my ofzo. O, is dit? Dan ook meek jylle. Ek ga praf met sê, ek is arm, ek skarrel, ek hassel, ek soek een rantie. Ha? Ek soek ook uit toe met deze wat music van praat. Ek soek uit daar. Waar uit toe met deze dan? Ja, dan my broer, nou boek hulle vir jou vir kiek. Nou sê het, ok, gie maar. Nou voel ze ook zama. Ja. As a charity show, nou kon ze maar vir free. But you know in your mind, ok, you're doing something. You're doing something good. But it knocks you still also. It does knock you, bro. But out of that charity thing, now you make an intention. Oh Allah, I'm gonna go to these people for free. Yes. I'm gonna try to inspire them. But from you, Allah, make it such that I get three more gigs. Afterwards, I mean. Verstaan ze? Ja. Nou sien ze na die charity event, nou kreeg ze die, 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 die. Daar is January uitgesoot. Ja, you know. Nou, ja, so for February. Maar as man to man wat ons week, mens, ons is hier reiki, man. I had to start up my year like that. I told the people like, okay, no, I remember back like, let's say maybe four, five years ago, four years ago. So I was doing like shows back to back, weekend, weekend after weekend, because I was accepting all the gigs. Ja. Then to say, okay, maak een voorbeeld, ek doen, dus is a, I do 90 shows for the year. Say, okay. say I do 90. Ek vat 20 van hy en ek sê 20 is van niet. Mm. So I say, okay, well the next year 70, I'm gonna do paid. 20 is gonna be, 20 is going to be free or 80 kai kai, verstaan? Ja. Yeah. But that does mean, that means I get to decide. Wat die anders is 80 kai kai. But ek het so goed te gaan sê, please, mense, maar you come here, you know, we do come help for the community. But now so mense, it's really for the community. But so mense, gaan bring it down, wil die vertaal nie. En nou had hy jou so mense. Ah, just come out, the kids will love it. Nou sê ek, ek weet the kids will love it. Wat sy taas in die mensen oor die vijf, sy taas in die mensen oor die vijf te gaan om die mensen in te kom en is daar niks tjere die involve nie. Sê nou sê maar betaal, au. As ek, as ek sien, jou tjere die vent is die vrie nie. Sy pijn man, ja. Sy pijn mos, ja. Nie speel man ons, sê sy pijn. Ja, but like you said, my bro, like... It's difficult for everyone. Um, for everyone. This, this goes for every single person that you know on social media right now. Just because they have a social media presence and you think like, okay, cool, hulle is gesien nou, or you've seen them on stage, it doesn't just automatically mean, like, they're millionaires, they're millionaires, or they're rich, or they have, like, all the, because you don't understand how the business works, it's a cutthroat industry, but, it's difficult, if you, if you, if you speak to every artist on the, on the, in the, in the early days, no, the mensen say, you know, I was taking taxes, like, everyday people, I was going to the shops, currently, to buy my clothes, like, everyday people, but people thought I was, rich because I was known. I said, my friend, I had what you have, I had talent and I had an internet connection. Mm. I had talent and I had a stage. I mm. had talent and I had opportunities that didn't mean automatically my life was going to change overnight. Mm. And especially yo, in the country we live in, I think to become such a huge artist, I'm saying even our city, to become that huge of an artist overnight and get all those business, is a bit harder. Yeah. I actually don't know how, how, it, how, it must, how you get there to the next level, you know? But all we can do is push and push. Oh and keep knocking off their millions and keep making music and keep mm. inspiring for me. Um, inspi inspiration is more than more than the kroon, but the kroon also needs to pay the bills, yo. So, oh. ons moet een kroon maak op een van die dag. Kan sê wel. Ek hoor jou dan, ek hoor jou dan, so ons moet nou weer, dan is jou. En jy nou wat? En dus ek, the episode is ek is dan, just in time, hou. Look, hou. Look how wonderful Allah is, na. Guys, if you don't know that, the time you have us now is like, what, quarter past four? Yeah, quarter past four, exactly. So we must go pray and stuff like that. It's prayer time, guys. If this was cut out, then check, but yeah, I'm going to go. Yes, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I don't know if you, I don't know if you, but you can go on here. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Nah, you keep quiet, man. Just like every new year. Ah, respect, my brother. Not the barakah in your life, your family, you and your family, and you know, I mean, I'm, I'm, I do it. I make all the time for everyone. I pray that we all become people of Jannah. Amen. And Allah forgives us for all of our sins. You know. Amen. This is this is the PSA podcast where we talk about anything. So, if you feel worried, if you feel afraid, like, can I talk about? You can talk about anything. Kegi. These are free. Ina ka dapat yung para in para sa mga prat sa kanyang iwo para ina ka lang. Kwaay, I like sa I like sa open platform music. It's boy. Uh, you know, yeah. because lots of people obviously going to watch it at some point and they're going to have things to say about this Quite. and that, but I'd like this kind of thing to be 
a little bit of a micro micro lens into who you are as a person. So sure. now, I'm and who's they as who they pride and yeah. so. But what I think we'll say usually on that note, on that mm-hmm. beautiful note that 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 to add that you made. I mean, Allah accepted, and you know when you make a dua for somebody, the angels make the same mm-hmm. dua for you. Mm-hmm. Subhanallah. So what that said is, even. So I know say us us circle us all that that is us us kick my ranchi and that we can us understand say us is normal men so us is the same problems as you let understand say but net that us is lich now it then you let us is now reckon so the fine bring it automatically here you let but even as I more do it can and I can so do it understand say so na ranchi or so na it's and and my and my bank account what so let us what I know it then what I can lose I can have better plan to or I can make do ah. Dat ik ga naar bitter plek toe. Als ik het op die dunia gekreet heb, mag al het voorschijn niet zijn. Amen, 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 amen. Hij is mijn, hij is mijn doa wat ik kan maken. Dus ik, if we didn't get that in the dunia, my bro. You will get it in the akhirah. Kan get it in the akhirah, amen, my bro. Yo, krijg je van voor voor de graf. Goosebumps. Ja, ik voel het dan. Nee, dat is niet zo. Dat was je, dat was je final message. No, I know we, there was lots of things that I wish we could have spoken about uh, or spoken about. But I mean, we will have more times. Um, that was not the, that was not the motivational section. Ah, mm. uh, as I another thing, what about Ricky? Ricky van die front. Ah, wat al wat zei wel. Ah, Ricky van die frontline, Ricky van die mensen, Ricky van die wereld verstaan. Zo, zo bitsie van alles verstaan. Zo. Like, 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 in Qatar, look, they follow that book more strictly, man. Yeah. The Quran, strictly. Yes. Everything is Quran. So they say, all the problems of mankind is in the Quran. So now I say, I think to myself, yeah. can I take this minute now, usually? Yeah, I, think, I think to myself, as all the problems are in the Quran, then I look at the thing of poverty, I must go to the Quran. And I search, and I scroll, and I search, and I look, and I find that, and I'm wondering, why then is the people that's like, Super poor, no? and these people that like super rich. Yeah. How is everyone has a test? Allah says, no? everyone's life is a test. Now, Frank, who like this test on? This man is on scattering and this man is arm. Mm. What is the test? This is all it we. Huh? Just the cure for poverty. If every man said what his neighbor, who will need the help? So the millionaire's test by Allah mm. is to get Allah give him a purse. Allah give him a clump here. Allah will take. How he's going to spend that money? Yeah. And Allah give you, you and I, maybe of the people out there, extreme poverty, and their poverty test for them is patience and perseverance. Now you tell me who's passing the test on a regular basis? Who come? I witness the arm of men who have not to arm up and say, Yeah, Allah, I go to the freedom. As we say, men, bro, that we're the freedom. As we say, if we have an egg in our house, we satisfied. As the kitos, as the freedom. And the rich man. Do not all pass it. All is it is. Is he sharing what is what? Is he sharing what mankind of the millions? I say any because if he did say that's men so stupak even stupak was a humanitarian. What stupak say? It it likes. They got millions for us but can't feed the poor. How my bro? Why you got to have five million rooms? Who could say five hundred cameras in your house? But that's even what he has said. Yeah. Why? Verstaan zij. So is if the rich man said what everybody, nobody will be, nobody will need that. I this ik quote je nou bij je, bij je, bij je gaat die. Quote hij dan meneer. Oh ja, oh ja, dat is zo. Quote hij dan. On on the day of Kiyama, those that were rich, not the rich, your wealth will be an enemy of you inside the grave. They say your wealth will turn into a large snake and this and I slang gaat op jou pak. Because maybe all the money that you used to hoard and hoard and just imagine, guys, I say, Ali, here later, you can use the money for a lot of evil, or you can use it for a lot of good. Yeah, they say the rich will be hung by their wealth, and their wealth will turn into something else. So what I'm saying is, sometimes your wealth, you in this life, you might think as Allah, your just like it, as Allah say, as a test for you. Then Allah say, Allah ha'kum utakathur hatta zurtum al maqabir. Your mutual rivalry, your mutual positions divert you when you reach your grave. Nou, ik vraag question, open in dit question, gaan zij terug in jou eie spesselen. Mm. Verstaan ze nou? Mm. Wie pas die test, man? Dan sê die Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the first people to enter Jannah is the poor people. Because they have, they pass Allah's test of patience and perseverance, they pass. The other one of sharing, you don't say because hy worry van sy next million. As sy eerste million geet het aan worry, hoe gaat hy die next million kry? Instead of, hoe kan ek die next man impact met die million? Verstaan sy? As my global superstars, wat hy sy wealth kan vat in a country, for anna. 
Yeah. You can change the whole country's situation. Look at Sadio Mane. Yeah. I man build the airport. I man build a hospital. I man build a school mm. in Senegal. I make Senegal. Senegal is I come up. Mm. Now imagine, yeah, because in this example, you so know what, no, but, but oh, that's it's going to change, that, Mark, man. That also goes to show, no, you know what, no? Give me a mile and advise you, man. Because of me. Give me a mile and advise you, but Mark, give me a mile. Give us all, can I lie? Give us 10 more, bro, 10. That also goes to show you know, because your your faith I think our faith has a big um impact on how we feel as people and, and how humanity and how mm. and how and how we think about other people. Yes, you so know. what I'm gonna say is I don't wanna get into deep with that, but I'm gonna tell you this if you wanna find out about why we are the way we are, go read the Quran. Allah please do go yourself that favor. I beautiful think, Yusrik. Yusrik, you beautiful like uh, so I said, man, I can't buy it for you, my bro. We must go, we must go, we must go. I can't buy it for you, I can't buy it for you. Everyone that says love to you, you can must, and must, and must, and must, and front line, and respect and leave them, and also leave for you, let us go, man. Let us go, leave it. Guys, we out. I'm a friend. Ha ha. Back with another public service announcement. Back with another public service announcement. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey! Alright, guys, I hope you guys are feeling good this morning.